Here at Wide for the Win, our goal is to help authors grow publishing success across multiple platforms and formats through education, training, support, and community. We have programs, classes, advice, and discussion groups to help you send your sales soaring, reach readers around the world, and diversify your income. Not only does Wide for the Win have relationships with industry partners who focus on multiple retailers, platforms, and formats, but you'll also find other like-minded authors who help each other on our author journeys. We're celebrating five years of Wide for the Win. Get ready for a great session of Wide-focused advice, strategies, and prizes. With the help of board members and several of our partners, we will be announcing the winners from our five-year anniversary giveaways. And we're here, finally. Woohoo! Long introduction. So <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Awesome. I gotta say, I, I love that we're doing, we're being goofballs. Um, we chatted about this in Wednesday's board meeting that one thing we don't ever want to lose, no matter how big this company gets, um, is our sense of humor. Uh, and, and so if you notice on that video, we all have, instead of our actual board titles, um, you have Aaron, who's the queen of white, Mark, one bald head, many hats, me, herder of cats, cool cash chick, um, <laughs> lieutenant of <laughs> useless knowledge, Mr. Paul Ardoin. Um Welcome aboard, everybody. Um, huge shout out to our 17,000 plus members for making Wide for the Wind so freaking awesome. You guys are amazing. Um, we literally could not do this without you. So this is as much about you as it is about the group itself. Um, thanks for joining us. Aaron, you're muted. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> Oh, I see no problems with this live stream whatsoever. It's going to smooth as butter. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> nice All right, oh. who's who's playing with Lego in the background? Right, That's what I want to know. Is that Bradley? Yeah, that... Are, you, are you building it? Is, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me All mute right. myself. All right, <laughs> sorry, I'm not really here yet. Oh, he's not here yet. He's still building his Lego. Is like the You're right. here probably. Right. Lego can, can, can we change his title to Maker of Legos? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Bradley's not officially supposed to be joining us just yet. He was going to be a little late um, because certain parts of Europe have not made the time change yet. Um, yay! Hi. Um, we've got Kristen and Elaine and William in the comments. Hi, you guys. Oh, Woohoo! Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Yes. Happy birthday. Yay. Likewise, you know, I can't, you know, a lot of people say thanks to the board members and the admins for all the advice, but you know what? I've probably learned as much from Wildlings as I've shared or probably a lot more. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Been, yeah. I was doing a consultation just the other day and hi, Marcana. Then, and uh, I was doing it with somebody who I had done one with way back, um, you know, mm -hmm. when I very first started consultations. And, um, and she was like, oh, wow, this has really changed since the last time we talked. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff has changed. And a lot of it we know about because of, you know, why yeah. things in us. So, yep. yeah. It's a group thing. This it is why is very much. Me. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's something that comes up regularly in our board meetings too. When we talk about what we want the focus of wide for the win and community is always number one. It's like, no matter what happens, community is always going to be our central focus. Um, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of people say I wouldn't get to where I am today without the people who helped me get here. So we share the information. And I think that's true for probably just about every indie author out there, or at least the vast majority of them. So, Yeah. Absolutely. Exciting. Five years, 17,000 plus members and still growing. It's it blows my mind. It really, really does. Um, and like I posted in the Facebook group this morning, it's like I, I would never have believed it would become what I mean, I had an idea that there were a lot of authors who could use a space to talk about wide. But yeah, I never imagined this. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, and, and, and that's one of the challenges, I think, mm -hmm. when we when we look at the Facebook group, it's great. It's phenomenal. It's exciting a lot or on faces, a book yeah. of faces and all that stuff. But I can't even find things when people oh. tag me in messages. And mm -hmm. so what was it a year ago that we started to 
look for a solution where we could actually break things down by topic and say, hey, I'm only interested in learning about selling mm -hmm. direct. Or I only want to talk about this. And Facebook's just sort of a mishmash. There's no way to organize it. Even, mm -hmm. even the, um, you know, the, the fountain of knowledge, the, uh, what do we call it? Wisdom? <laughs> it's free, oh. the wisdom. Yeah, that's always been a challenge uh, for us. So at least with the circle group, I love the fact that I can go into a group and see, oh, there's six comments, I, or new new things I haven't seen mm -hmm. in this group. And mm -hmm. it's easier to yeah. find. Okay. So, so I think as the group continues to grow, we're trying to find more creative mm -hmm. ways to make it easier to find the information you are looking for uh, on your author journey. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And as, as we've been saying uh, for a while now, uh, we consider the wide uh, why for the win Facebook group as being for wide curious. And then the circle group is for wide committed. Yep. Um, so we've got, if you are committed to being widening um, and thriving as a wide author uh, you, and you have not made it over to circle somehow, you definitely should do that. Like, yeah. yeah. So, yes. It's yeah, Elaine says I'm so grateful for the circle community. It made it made getting starting so much easier. It really does. I can't tell you. I mean, Facebook search function anymore is useless. I've joined a couple other groups like subscriptions for authors um, was my most recent join and I'm trying to find information on there. So I type in a keyword and it brings up 50 posts that have nothing to do with the keyword I typed in. I'm going. Okay, so I hop over to Circle and I'm like, oh, there's a space just for subscriptions and serials. And I'm like, yay, I can ask my question here and get answers and not have to deal with all the other stuff. Or um, I posted a blurb for feedback because I'd been staring at it way too long. I'm like, this is still way too many words in this blurb. I need help whacking it down to something manageable. There's a dedicated space in our circle community just for feedback, which is something we really can't do in the Facebook group because then you, number one, get inundated with 17,000 people responding who may or may not know your genre. And there's no way to look at their profile and see if they write in your category, which on circle, we ask people to include their genres in their, you know, profile tagline. So that way at a glance, people can say, Hey, okay, this person actually writes romance. I can, you know, they know what they're talking about at least, <laughs> or at least are familiar with the genre or, Hey, they write thrillers. Cool. So do I, I can help them. Um, it just makes it so much easier to organize. I know we keep harping on go join circle, but seriously, it's awesome. Um, it's yeah, I, I'm getting so frustrated with Facebook and not being able to find the information I want. And the tree of wisdom, as much as we've tried to curate that anytime I try and touch anything in that thread, it likes to delete it and I have to start all over again, which is I, I think I've rebuilt the tree of wisdom at least five times. Um, I don't touch it anymore. <laughs> it is what it is. It's got to be there. Um, so yeah, if you're not in the circle community, come please join us. Um, and the other big thing that we've just started doing within the last month, um, and well, you'll notice we have some people joining us today from our various industry partners. Some of them are now having, or have now got their own dedicated space inside our circle community where you can talk directly with their representatives. So if you have a question for Scribe Count, or you have a question for Bar or for uh, Barnes Noble, or not Barnes Noble yet, Publish Drive. If you have a question for Publish Drive, you can ask them directly instead of, you know, like trying to get other wide links to try and help you figure it out. You can actually ask the companies directly. And I am freaking excited about that. It's awesome. That Thank is just guys. so amazing and so rare that, that yeah. to have access like that. And, and I'm truly mm -hmm. grateful for those representatives and those industry yes. partners who have committed to being part of that and engaging. Mm -hmm. And I know many of them are already doing that in the Facebook group. Mm -hmm. but this makes it yeah. so much easier for them to yes. find Oh, yep. this is a question for me. I can answer this. Yes. And unlike the Facebook group where there's limited representation, yeah, we've only have two moderators per group, but as many people as you want can be in that group from mm -hmm. your company. So yeah. you can tag team, for example. So it's not always some, the same poor person having to answer all the questions <laughs> 24 seven. Um, yeah. Because we do, as we saw, as we saw with, from Organa, uh, it's not even midnight in Thailand yet. What is this early biz? <laughs> Sorry, Morgana. From around the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so we, um, more congratulations are coming in. Uh, thank you guys mm -hmm. so much. Uh, we're really excited uh, with all of these. <laughs> but we, yeah. have, we have things. We have things uh, that our partners want to give. 
Hey, awesome. pop up Rhonda's comment real quick. She says, I was hesitant about going to Circle because I didn't want to learn a new platform, but I'm so glad I did. It's easy to use and so much easier to find things. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We were even hesitant starting it for that reason because we knew people were gonna, weren't going to make jump, weren't going to want to make the jump anyhow. Um, but it is, it's just so much easier. And it's so much cleaner. And there's not so much clutter is the other thing that really I love. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah. All right. Yeah. So we, we, have, rolling? we have, yeah, I just wanted to say we have industry partners who are giving prizes away today and we will mm -hmm. make sure to give a shout out to them as we are announcing their prize or as they are, as we are introducing them so that, you mm -hmm. know, they are one of the ones who are going to have their own dedicated space in the circle group. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't found it already. Um, and then we do have some others who are starting up their own dedicated space, um, but aren't giving away prizes today. And so I think I'll put together a little list and I'll make that announcement a little bit later yeah. um, so that we can, uh, you guys will know um, who it is, who will, who will have their own industry space. Um, and then we also, just so you know, have quite a few people who I'm talking to who haven't quite pulled the trigger yet. Mm -hmm. um, who are, are probably going to be added any minute now. Uh, uh, so we've got a lot going on in terms of that. Anyway, just wanted to say that. Um, and it looks like Bradley is giving us a tour of the trees. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going to be biking, he said, in the, in the private he's gonna, chat. Yeah. He's going to make give us all motion sickness there. And then, and then we're all going to be yeah. worried that he's going to fall or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. It reminds so, me, I haven't seen the Blair Witch Project in a in a long time. Kristen <laughs> <laughs> yeah. writes a novel. That's exciting. Bring them all in. We would love to bring them all in. <laughs> right. Yes. So who's who's going to be announcing our first winners? Deanna's in charge of that. All right, Miss. First up, we have. Uh, Reagan, who is the um, owner of Full Hearts Romance. All right, let's get you centered and, uh, here. Hang take, on. Take uh, it away, Reagan. So th that wasn't a setup at all. Who's going to be announcing first? Oh, geez, <laughs> I wonder who's going to be announcing first. For, uh, be before I get into this one real quick, first of all, uh, I totally agree with Rhonda. Um, like, we started talking about Circle, and yes, I was here from the beginning. I was like, oh, God, another platform just another set of, of settings to mess around with. And it, it was a bit daunting and circle is painfully easy in its own way. Like you expect to, it to be just like everywhere else. And you're like, Oh my goodness, this was set up. So yeah, I can totally feel Rhonda on that one. I was, you can ask Aaron. I was very hesitant to, to join for that very reason. Um, also as a point of personal privilege, can I ask for a title too? Can I be, <laughs> For those, for those who don't know, Erin is my wife. That's why we're in the same room. I'm not just a weird stalker. But I feel like I, I should be the prince consort of wide. Stepdad of that, wide. That works. Well, prince Reagan. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, we had we had, we had, had the queen, well, no, and then we had Prince Philip. So there you go. Yeah. You know, some, something along those lines. Like, I, I understand where my position in the hierarchy is, but I am queen adjacent. And so. <laughs> I think queen adjacent's the perfect title right there. there it might be that. that that's yeah. the one right there. Um, anyway, yes, I am. I am. I am Reagan. And I um, run and own, I guess, um, uh, Full Hearts Romance, which is a very. Uh, uh, we try so hard to be a. a uh, easy entry into the promotion game for especially with new authors in mind but hopefully our roi on our our cost per click is really nice um um for for the price we charge but we try to be a low cost easy entry way into promotions for romance authors um and so we try to stay cost effective but we also do a couple of other things we we also try to give our subscribers uh as much information as they can get about what they're getting. So we actually have four different email lists, um, three of which are split out by, um, by heat level, how, how much, um, personal interaction is actually described on stage or on, on the page. Um, sorry, I'm also a theater geek, but, but how much is described on page depend determines the heat level so that authors are able to select our flame level, um, so that at a glance, our subscribers can see um, 
just how hot, um, how steamy how are we? Steamy are you <laughs> getting when you get into this book? Um, and then we also say, separate those out into three different levels. So we have our sweethearts, our full hearts, and our flaming hearts. Um, and you know, one to two versus three to four, and and four to five, kind of a crossover, so that our subscribers know what they're getting in their inbox and aren't just uh, surprised or disappointed by just whatever happens to book that day. It gives uh, gives us a chance and gives authors a chance to communicate um, with with their readers and potential mm -hmm. readers in a little bit more effective way. Our fourth list uh, incorporates all five heat levels, but that one uh, is our same hearts list. And that is specifically for our uh, LGBTQIA plus authors and readers so that they get uh, they get the stories that they um, are specifically looking for through that through that email list. As it grows, I hope to split that one out into flame levels. But right now, it incorporates uh, one through one through five flames on our same hearts um, list as well. But yeah, the other thing that we do for our authors that is a way to be uh, easy entry. And and Aaron can talk if you ask her about this. Can talk about the struggles of when you look at other other promo companies. There's usually a pretty high bar so that they maintain quality, and we try to maintain quality too. But there's a high bar in terms of number of reviews, number of star ratings, what platforms uh, those reviews could come from, and we tried to open that up uh, by reducing the number of of reviews required um, to allow you to get into promoting your books and your writing. Uh, sooner rather than later. So that's been that's been our goal, and I think we've been relatively successful with it. Um, and so that's full hearts romance in a very outsized nutshell. All right. Um, so how many winners? Do you oh, have? and then and then and then I absolutely went nuts. I said in the original post that I was going to give away ten uh, free promotions, and for those who do get are selected. Uh, please note that that's any of our promo types. We run a pricing range from $5 up to $30 per pro promo. And this is 100% off any one of those types. So whatever fits best for your promotion schedule and book, you can just have a free promo if you're one of these people. Um, and um, yes, I did ask for your favorite Muppet. The most Reagan thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> The Jim Henson should be canonized. I'll just say that publicly now. <laughs> that man was a genius. Um, anyway, so yes, I did ask for for favorite Muppets, and so uh, along with the winners' names, I'm also going to tell you which uh, Muppet they preferred or their, is their favorite. Um, beginning with um, and standard apologies and switch your standard apologies for mispronounced names here. I am horrible at this game, so uh, I apologize now. But I will send you a message <laughs> afterwards. And hopefully spell it correctly. Um, Todra Candle uh, is our first winner. And she, her favorite Muppet is Rizzo the Rat. Um, excellent choice, especially a Muppet Christmas. Um, next up, we have Rachel Paige Campbell, whose favorite Muppet is Scooter. Who doesn't love the right-hand man? Um, Rose Bach, or Bach, um, has a made a very good point because it was we allow i allowed for all jim henson creations so this includes sesame street the dark crystal muppet babies that kind of thing her favorite is snuffy from sesame street Aww. so um one that's close and personal to my heart but my second probably my second favorite is uh lois breedlove she likes the muppet newsman um, and if any of y'all like books, you should check out his sketch about his news report on returning your library books. That oh. is pure gold. Um, <laughs> you know that. Next up, we have Elaine Cannon. Um, she is a big fan of Gonzo. Or they are. They are a big fan of Gonzo. Um, so uh, got to love being shot out of a cannon with a chicken. Um, uh, Katie Rank Lev. Um, this one I'm going to point out very specifically. Uh, her uh, favorite Muppet is Julia from Sesame Street. And uh, Julia is a sweet one. Julia is autistic and just a neat character. Just a really, really neat character. So uh, glad that Julia got mentioned as well. Um, Maggie Davis is next up because you cannot not have a big fan of Big Bird. Um, Big Bird is just, well, just Big Bird, and that's an icon. Um, 
We got a, a Tana Fenske is our next winner. And Tana really likes Stadler and Waldorf. Uh, for those of you who don't recognize the name, they're the two guys in the balcony who always heckle um, on the on the Muppet Show. Um, Callan Jones is a big fan of Animal because you got everybody loves the drummer, right? Um, <laughs> next up, we have Linda Shantz, uh, who is a big fan of Beaker. Speaking of of assistance of right Beaker! hand, me, 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 me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it took a while down in the comments on this post, but somebody finally joined me with my favorite Muppet. And that's that's Dylan or Dylan. Uh, Dylan. Did I say it again? Dylan. Dylan. Oh, that's <clears throat> okay. Uh, Dylan. Sorry, my handwriting sucks. <laughs> uh, Dylan Crush, who loves Fozzie. Fozzie is my favorite, absolute favorite Muppet of all time. Um, I have plenty of puns if you would like later. Um, Soraya Denizen. Denizen. Uh, she. They like Oscar. Oscar the Grouch. Um, and adding to the name fun here, here uh, Lindsay Harrell slash Kristen Canary uh, is a big fan of Miss Piggy. There are a lot of Miss Piggy fans out there, uh, probably for obvious reasons, but she's she is a Miss Piggy fan as well. And we have Kara Bristol, um, who is a Kermit fan. And our last our last winner is uh, Regina Crummer. Crummer. Again, my handwriting really really sucks she is a fan of grover so you gotta 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 appreciate anyone who loves near far um so those are our winners i will be sending out messages uh those are the winners of our 100 percent off coupon um i did set up also for those who didn't get selected um i did set up an extra promo code for the month of april um because we're close enough to april right? Absolutely. Missed it by a couple of days. Um, but for 25% off any of our promo types as well. Um, so, the, um, it's in the, it's in the thread. You'll see the coupon code in the thread, but it is WFTW April, all caps, no spaces, but that'll get you 25% off any of our promo types and, uh, right. look forward to working with you guys. Thank you so much. And thank you for making, thank you to circle for making it so easy. Um, <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Yay. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> All right. So next up. Oh, wait. <laughs> As the lieutenant of useless information, I'm compelled to say, thank, or say that Kermit is the only Muppet who is a regular on both Sesame Street and The Muppet Show. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> okay, so next Shout up, out to the frog, Book Sprout. All right, let's find Book Sprout. All right, hang on, uh, <laughs> Rosanna. Uh, there you are. Okay, I got you. All right, center stage. Hi, hi there. <laughs> how do I follow that? How do I follow the Muppets? I don't, I don't know how you're doing this to me. <laughs> I'm Rosanna from Book Sprout, and I want to say, first of all, thank you so much for having us as part of your party, for inviting us to this amazing party. We're very happy to be celebrating with Wide for the Win. Um, I know that our founder, Chris Lieppi, and Virginie, also um, part of like the original team at Book Sprout, has a really great relationship with Aaron and, and everyone here. So it was just such a natural fit, and we're just so happy to be here. And if you don't know what Book Sprout is, um, basically we are we connect authors with readers. So we have over the since we were founded in 2015, we've had about 45,000 authors work with us across multiple, you know, getting reviews across multiple platforms. And we have about 300,000 readers that have discovered their next favorite book through Book Sprout. So um, we really do what we really focus on doing is making review team management simple so authors can focus more on what they do best, which is writing. 
With our dedicated support team, we ensure seamless experience for both authors and readers. So we encourage everyone to come check us out. And you know what? We're constantly improving. So if there was something that you, if you tried working with us in the past and there was something that didn't maybe work out so great for you back then, so you, you haven't tried us again, I really do encourage you to come back and see what's changed because you're going to find improvements. And if you also think that there's an issue now, we're all really open to feedback. We're constantly improving. And we, you know, we're, we're, you're going to see a whole new set of improvements um, as on an ongoing basis. So I just wanted to throw that out there and um, and say that I didn't hear Miss Piggy as a favorite Muppet. And I really shocked by that. And, you know, wanted to put that out there. She was <laughs> mentioned, if it makes you oh, feel better. She was. Oh, she was. Oh, okay. There were like 14 other ones mentioned. So I can, I can understand. Yeah, yeah, like I because she's so important to me, I would have thought she'd come out like five or six times. So <laughs> right. I did want to just throw this out there. This isn't part of, of what we planned or anything, but I have been using Book Sprout for years uh, to manage my ARC team. And um, and yes, I've known Chris and Virginia for, for years. Fantastic people. So excited that you all chose to have a, a partner industry space with us inside yeah. of Circle. So that's really cool. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah. And I just like want to put it out there to you. Like it was so quick. It was instant. It was like, oh, you're doing this. We're doing it. You know, we're in. It was instant. So, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, we're very excited about it all. Good deal. Yeah. So um, I did want to. So I get to announce the winners now. I don't know. <laughs> party <laughs> right here. <laughs> I have kids, so these are just everywhere in my house. I was like, like, let me get the green one because we're book sprout, so we're green. So, yeah. so um, our winners are Inca York and Shannon Schroeder. Congratulations. I'm going to be sending you the PM with instructions. Um, a big happy birthday to White for the win. Again, thank you for inviting us to many more years of helping authors. And um, I don't know, are we... Okay, so we can say, so here's the thing is we have a new, we have an exclusive link that we also provided to Wide for the Win, and it's going to be, um, I guess it's going to be in our little private partner space there, where even if you didn't win, you can get a free month, and it's just an exclusive link that you're going to be able to access that through Wide for the Win, so um, everyone wins today everyone <laughs> <laughs> that's right so if you haven't joined the um the the subgroup for book sprout yet you want to go to circle you're going to find their their industry space and the link will be in there and then you can get a free month whether or not your names were the two names that rosada already mentioned <laughs> yeah exactly so everyone wins and then um also i didn't think i mentioned they won inca york and shannon schroeder won uh, the one year of the pro author plan which is a pretty good deal. Heck yes. yeah, that's fantastic. Thank you so, so much for agreeing to do that. It's really yeah, wonderful. No I love how she came prepared too with the party horn. That's I awesome. know, gosh. <laughs> oh, I think I see that. Yay. Woohoo. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're having way too much fun with this. Thanks, <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. So who is up next? Batting order. Rhiannon, it's your turn with Grounded Chaos. Where'd Rhiannon go? There's Rhiannon. All right. Center stage. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, uh, I think my cat is having kittens right now. Um, <laughs> literally? Literally? <laughs> yes, yeah, literally. I know your cat is pregnant. <laughs> yes, I, I think she's, I think she has literally just hid up on the shelf to have kittens. Um, You're giving away kittens today? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm with Grounded Chaos. We are, we've just started training um, author PAs, so, you know, or author virtual assistants. Um, and I am going to go through this kind of quick. Uh, my, my business partner, Lisa Ferret, is actually in the comments somewhere. Uh, as grounded chaos, um, but uh, yeah, our first class starts in July, and um, our winner is Marty C. Lee. So I, I just need to get out fairly quickly because <laughs> I gotta check on this cat. <laughs> um, yes, but I just wanted to say again, not not planned, but um, I looked over the curriculum for grounded chaos. The the um, the 
classes that you're going to be teaching over a course of months. And yes. it is fantastic. Like the information that you will be providing to um, uh, potential future assistants, right? Um, or people who are already working as PAs who want to take their, their, their craft to the next level and really learn a lot of different things. Like this came about because there's a real need in the industry. Um, yes. So many mm -hmm. times authors ask someone to be their PA and then have to train their PA to do everything. <laughs> and so it's like, I, if I had time to train somebody to do all of these things, then I have time to just do those things, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's where the difficulty comes in. Um, and so the fact that that y'all are going to be training so that when a PA comes out of this course, they'll come out the other side and be like, I'm ready to just do everything for you. Um, that's fantastic. I'm so excited about this. This is something that our industry has not had at all. So yes. anyway, I just had to say like, super excited. Yeah. Well, we, <laughs> and, and we definitely had Aaron go over it because we wanted to make sure that we had a good comprehensive set of classes and that mm -hmm. we weren't any more insane than we actually thought we were, you know, yes. for doing this at all. <laughs> yeah. And in case anybody didn't catch it, Rhiannon is actually uh, my, my main PA. She's my brain. She's, she is how I stay sane. Mostly <laughs> any insanity is really only my fault. I uh, can't blame her for that. Um, but she knows of what she speaks. She is amazing. And so that's how, that's how this, this whole school came about anyway. Yes. <laughs> Well, and to kind of shoehorn into that, um, this really ties in with wide because think about how much wide authors have to tackle and why we especially would love to have a PA that is well-trained and knows the industry and knows the various mm -hmm. platforms. I mean, that's, that's kind yeah. of an amazing thing to be able to just hire somebody and they're ready to go. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's the reason we're doing this. Yep. Yeah. Cause there's so many PAs out there who are like, Oh, I can help you. But then you start talking to them and you realize they literally only know stuff about Amazon. They're not even sure they can name all the white platforms. Right. Yeah. And so yeah. it's like, this will actually give somebody the grounding that they need to be amazing across mm -hmm. anyway. So yay. Well, go check on your kittens. We want pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. All right. Next up, we have Danica with Published Drive. Hey, how are you? I am so Good. excited to be here. Um, thank you for having me. This is very, very fun. Um, I, I've noticed in the group, not all of you know a lot about Published Drive, so I'll just mm -hmm. tell you a little bit about us. Uh, we help people distribute their books to a wide audience worldwide. We have the largest distribution channels out there, which is pretty exciting. We can get you to a lot of places you can't get to otherwise. So I love that about Publish Drive, but our main goal with Publish Drive is really to help people be more efficient in their business and to give you back writing time. Um, like a lot of you, I'm an author. So um, I love books. I love to write and I would rather be writing than doing all of the businessy stuff. And so we try to streamline everything into one platform for everyone. So that's a little bit about what we do. Um, excuse me, one second. Yeah. If, uh, if anybody didn't see the picture of Danica and I, we sat on the plane next to each other all the way from, where were we at? We were in New Orleans to Denver. Is that where we were flying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. We were <laughs> New Orleans to Denver. Um, so that was super fun. Um, yeah, I just right. got back from a uh, vacation and I have a little bit of a cold. So that's so why I did oh, stop no. and take a sip. Yeah. So I know I owe you an email, Erin, and I will get that to you very shortly. Um, but yeah, like vacation coming home. Not not so much fun. But uh, right. anyway, um, <laughs> so we also have our private group or private group, our exclusive group. It's not private. Anyone can join uh, within the wide for the wind circle. So mm -hmm. please, if you have questions about Publish Drive, uh, let me know. Um, I probably can't answer any tech stuff, but I will certainly help you get to someone who can. And uh, with that, um, our giveaway is uh, Stefan Lear uh, is the winner. He gets a one year subscription to our pro plan, which is pretty <sighs> exciting. Um, a very valuable subscription there. So I'm um, super excited to offer that. 
And we also are going to be offering something to all of the Wide Food Win members um, as our thank you for letting us be part of this community and just show our support for the indie authors. Um, after this, I will put that in our group, but um, we are giving 25% off to all wide for the win members for your first year annual plan subscription. So, um, oh, very wow, that's huge. How exciting. Yeah. So um, we just are really grateful to be part of the group and we want to be able to share that with all of you and um, help you really streamline your business. Again, just make it as simple and efficient as possible. Um, I don't know about you, but like I said, I am totally in it to be an author. And so the more I can do my writing, the better. So. Um, mm -hmm. thank you all for being here and, uh, thank you all for your support. And I hope to get chatting with you, um, more in the wide for the wind group. Like I said, I am an author, so, um, I do like talking about nerdy author stuff as well. Yay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming on and a big congratulations to Stefan Lear. I think he's actually here this morning. I thought I saw his name. I thought I saw him. Anyway, anyway but, uh, but yeah, con big congratulations. That's really fun because uh, yeah. Publish Drive will get you to all of the um, storefronts. Um, mm -hmm. So you can use them to just, I mean, and we're talking print and audio and ebook and the whole shebang. So yeah. it can really take away from the admin work yes indeed and a lot of other places besides just the storefronts obviously yeah. it's fabulous yeah. i'm i'm really excited to have them have their own space in the circle community that's awesome because i know a lot of people have questions about you know what exactly does publish drive do well now you can go ask that's right that's right directly <laughs> instead of just asking the whole group where people are like well i think it's this nope you can go ask them directly Yep, absolutely. So yay. Thank you so much, Danica. So next up, we have Craig with Hidden Gems, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Yay. Yay. Good morning, Craig. Hi. Thanks. How's it going? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm Craig Touch, uh, author and founder of Hidden Gems Books. Uh, I started Hidden Gems about 10 years ago, offering author services like art reviews, beta reviews, blurb writing consoles, all that stuff. Um, we also post regular self-publishing related articles on our blog, and we have a weekly author-focused podcast where we interview authors, industry experts about writing, publishing, you know, anything that's relevant to our self-publishing community. We have over 100 episodes so far on YouTube and all the major podcast sites, but all the links can be found on the website as well. Um, and to give you an idea of the quality of the guests we have, Aaron has been on more than once <laughs> yeah yeah you guys could get rid of me i just kept showing up and i'm like but i have more to talk about <laughs> yeah no we're always happy to have it for sure i mean you know wide stuff is is becoming so much more important to authors so um, mm -hmm. i'm really glad that i can participate in the celebration um speaking of which yeah so we're giving away three arc spots that can be used in any of the many genres that we service so for those of you who don't know how it works, authors that use our ARC service, um, they have their books offered to our list of thousands of re reviewers in their genre, so they don't have to bring or find their own review readers or reviewers. Um, so this not only gives you exposure to a whole bunch of new fans, but means you don't have to cannibalize your own subscriber list by giving away free copies to people that are already fans and likely to buy their own copies of your book. Uh, and there's no limit on the number of reviewers for these spots. Uh, so basically, however many people want to read it, they'll just reserve a copy and they'll get one. So without further ado, the randomly chosen winners are uh, Victoria L.K. Williams, Katie Rank Lev and KJ Werawa. <laughs> uh, if you're one of those winners, I'll send you the details via PM on Circle. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And that's it. For me. Yay. Yay. <laughs> very cool. Very, Yay. very cool. So, along Thanks. with ARCs, yeah, you guys have got the podcast. You guys have got your newsletter, mm -hmm. Hidden Gems. I mean, and I read every one of your newsletters that comes out because I have found that your, um, your news industry news um, is really useful. Uh, mm -hmm. you, I find your newsletter is actually got information in it that's worth opening up the newsletter for, right? Instead of just yeah. archiving it. So um, you, you guys have done a really good job of continuing to keep that information relevant and useful in there. 
So thank thanks. You. Yeah, the newsletter is, is something that I just send out to authors that have used our service uh, services in the past. So um, and we send that out every Friday. So generally, it just, you know, it has a link uh, with the information to our latest blog and the latest podcast. And then yeah, usually something else. Uh, these days, I've been talking a lot about AI, I'm really into sort of the AI writing space. Um, and I'm, you know, there's so much going on with that, that I, I'm really focused on that um, lately, but you know, in general, we're doing all sorts of topics. So, yes. All I right. I just want well, to jump you. in real quick, sorry, and, and say, um, if you are struggling to find traction, book a, book a consult with Craig from Hidden Gems. I don't know if Craig remembers this conversation or not. He and I had a conversation that's been about three-ish, almost three and a half years ago now. And thanks to that, as a direct result of that conversation, I revamped my covers to be more on spot for my genre and my writing took off. My That's book awesome. took off. I'm so glad so, to help. Yeah. Craig, book a session with Craig. You won't regret it. <laughs> Yay. I think we, I feel like we should also mention that um, most, if not all of these industry partners that we're bringing on today and that have spaces in circle, we've all worked with as authors. Um, yeah. So it's not yeah. like we're just pulling in. I mean, there's, there's no, you know, hey, if we give you whatever this, you guys are going to recommend us. No, that's, I mean, we're sharing them and bringing them in because we use their services. Um, yeah. So yeah, obviously we recommend them too. <laughs> and that's one of them. Um, yeah, I love their newsletters. Their newsletters are, um, Craig does a great job. Yeah, really absolutely. Great. I okay. um, I reached out to each one of the industry partners um, one by one, and they are people mm -hmm. who in companies that I know are trustworthy and mm -hmm. um, are yeah. are going to be doing a great job. So uh, we would never ever bring somebody in who <laughs> we can't stand behind one hundred and ten percent. Yes, so. and that's that's been kind of your goal and my goal too as your co-pilot um, from the get-go mm -hmm. is like, we want to make those connections between authors and industry partners, yep. but we also want to make who we're, make sure we're recommending reputable sources and companies. Mm -hmm. um, so, which is why I know a lot of people will message us on Facebook, especially saying, hey, can I post about my service? And we actually do go through your website. We go through your clients. You know, if, if we know somebody who's worked with you, we ask them, um, we vet people before we actually say, yeah, sure, go ahead and post. Um, mm -hmm. we don't just say, yeah, go ahead and post. And actually lately we've gotten really, really, really picky, <laughs> mm -hmm. extremely picky. And we've had a few, we've said, um, we're interested, but not yet. Um, you know, keep working on it, come back to us in, you know, six months or something. So just yep. want to throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And while we're talking about partner spaces, I told y'all that I would, uh, put this list together. Um, in terms of partners who are, are not giving away prizes today, um, but do have their own partner space that you should be checking out. Um, we have Streetlib. So they mm -hmm. are a distributor that is out of Italy um, and they are really growing their, their US audience right now <clears throat> and, um, and getting in quite a bit actually into German uh, translations and such too. So just fascinating. Um, Find Away Voices, um, of course, the audiobook uh, distributor um, and then Authors Republic is also going to have their own, um, their own space. So you will be able to go into Circle and and speak directly with the reps from these companies. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last one that uh, we are setting up is Draft to Digital, um, another distributor, of course. So some of these don't have um, subspaces yet, partner spaces. Some of them are still being onboarded. Um, mm -hmm. And then we have more who are like right on the verge of signing and saying yes. So I can't announce anything there. But, um, but mm -hmm. yeah, we are bringing in lots of companies again because you can't be a successful wide author without working with a variety of companies. Mm -hmm. There's just no way that you could do everything completely by yourself. I mean, yeah, yeah there's just no way. No, uh, <laughs> so well, so there's, there's, there's yeah. some that even if you could do it yourself, you wouldn't want to. These companies, um, particularly thinking of the distributors like Street Live and Publish Drive, um, who negotiate contracts on your behalf. So you actually get a decent contract instead of um, certain companies we've talked about in the group before, blatant mm -hmm. rights grabs. Um, yes. <laughs> they're helping protect you authors against those blatant right grab, rights grabs. So um, yeah, you definitely. You have space for that. 
Clayton writes crabs. <laughs> Writer beware. You have to say it. You have to say it three times before you can be added to it. <laughs> Again, so, I know. Um, <laughs> hey, Aaron. Uh huh. What? One note on the on the partner spaces. I'm off my bike, by the way. Finally, uh, <laughs> one note on the um, on the partner spaces. So I just visit conferences in Ireland and in Spain, and the partner space. It's kind of. I just put this like analogy together. It's kind of like at these conferences where they're over there at a table mm -hmm. or they're in a room, and you can go talk to them, and they're yeah. happy to talk with you, and they're there, they're approachable, they're accessible, and because you're at the conference. They're also happy to talk with you because, of course, mm -hmm. we can all go to the all these websites and fill out the contact form or something or do some help desk thing. But mm -hmm. this is it's bringing the connection closer. Yeah, that's really yes. cool. Yep. I um, like that. that, that's actually really funny that you mentioned that because uh, many, many, many moons ago, when I very first um, started in intentionally inviting um, reps to join Wide for the Win on Facebook. Um, yeah. I actually talked about it as being um, the ability to connect with the rep without having to go to a conference yeah. because they're expensive. It's a lot of travel. It's a wear and tear on your body and you, on your wallet and everything else. And yeah. you, you can't always do that because you have life happening otherwise. And so I have forgotten about that analogy that I used. So great minds think yeah. alike. Um, <laughs> fantastic. Anyway. Okay. Right, so cool. Speaking of author conferences, next up for the giveaway, we have Joe Solari. Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. This author nation who is taking over hey. the, what was the 20 Books to 50K conference. Yes. That's us. That's us. And uh, so glad to uh, have this opportunity to help support the community. And more importantly, I'm really appreciative of how the management as well as community members have jumped into Author Nation to help us make this show better representative of the, you know, author community as a whole. I think that um, while the older show that we took over had some really great strengths, um, it kind of had its focus. And we certainly, when I and Suze decided to take over the show, wanted to make sure that we uh, brought groups like this one into Have Your Message Told, because there's a lot of folks that this is going to be their best life through writing as a, as a wide strategy. So for those that don't know, uh, Joe Solari, uh, I'm the managing director of Author Nation. Uh, it's Author Nation Live, where you can go learn about it. It's uh, in November 11th through 15th at the uh, Horseshoe Casino in Las Vegas. It's the largest indie conference. Uh, we've got some amazing stuff planned. We're going to have a lot of cool announcements uh, that will you know, be sure to be in the circle group here to hear about. Um, but I'm here to talk about um, some winners. And the way we did our conference it, or, or our contest was we asked people to talk about their current best life through writing or their future vision of that. And mm -hmm. I would suggest to everybody to go look at that string. There's some really powerful stuff there. Um, so, uh, I was so inspired that I decided we're not just going to give away one live ticket and one digital ticket. We're going to give away one live ticket and three digital tickets. That's amazing. So the live winner is Elaine Canyon. So if I've been paying attention, she's, I think won two things, right? Yeah. She's winner, cleaning winner. up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, now for the digital, uh, uh, the first winner is Kristen Artis. The next one is Joe Miles. And the third and final digital ticket winner is Dylan Crush. Yay! So Yay. I will um, send you Ooh. coupon codes um, via the private messenger and, and circle. And um, I'm really excited to have you guys part of this and come into the show. And maybe <laughs> we should all take a moment of silence for those people that chose not to come to the circle group and missed out on all these cool prizes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's Absolutely. <laughs> I know that I will be there at Author Nation um, in November. I believe Paul is going to be there. I believe Deanna yeah. is going to be there. I don't know if Mark is going to be there. Oh, or I'm not, there with but... bells all over my yeah. body. 
Yeah. Yes. I'm going to feel left out. <laughs> Susie's oh going to feel left out. Um, Bradley's going to fly. I, I, I might, I might the even the be there, depending on oh, certain gosh. things. Yeah. Hey, well, so then. Joe, how long are tickets on sale for? <laughs> <laughs> tickets are on sale. So here's, um, we, we thought we were going to have our speaker slate announced mm. and we would stop selling the early bird tickets. We had over 300 submissions. Oh, wow. Of, and like, and we have a committee. Some people like Morgana, who's here is on the, the, the programming committee. Like, we're all like, oh, I want to go to that one. I want to go to that one. I want to go to that one. Oh, so like, we've really got wow. a tough job to get it down to the 120 slots. But think about that. 120 wow. like, yeah. really killer sessions. Um, so until we announce that, we will not change the early bird ticket pricing. We'll keep it at the the, the live ticket at three ninety nine and the oh, that's cool. uh, digital ticket at one forty nine, so people can see who's going to be there. Right. Um, awesome. One thing I might also, have to do a lot the digital. <laughs> what what's that? I said I might have to do the digital. Actually, getting to Vegas with my daughter might be a little interesting. Yeah, but yeah, the digital. I might have to splurge for that. <laughs> yeah, I think that um, you know the digital is going to be a really uh, powerful thing for people because j just the catalog of sessions you're going to get. And then our plan is to have uh, remote stuff associated with what we're calling our after party to oh, cool. give people a chance to, you know, because even if you go to the show, what happens? Well, you don't get to see all the sessions, mm. right? Or you get home and you think about the session you went to and you have some more questions. Well, to give folks that were doing the presentation a chance to, answer questions remotely. And like, if you're presenting on AI, by the time the show ends and the news, the after party, like everything could change. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's just a way for, to keep the community um, up to speed with the latest information. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be fun. And one last thing about our speakers is we're bringing people from outside the industry. So um, we've got some folks, um, Susan and I were just at social media marketing world and I tapped into that community for speakers and got some people that like, they don't even know our community exists. And when I tell them about what we're doing and they understand the opportunity for them and the tools that they may have to help us, the whole idea is to bring in that outside inspiration, right? Maybe it's something you hear in a session. Maybe it's hanging at the bar with these people and them hearing us talk about the industry. And they're like, oh, this is what we could do to help you guys. We really think that um, a big part of the power of that show is getting everybody mixed up and what can come out of that collaboration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, well, thank you so much for coming yes, on, Joe. And uh, yes, and and for giving away these tickets. Um, and hopefully, you'll be seeing all of our smiling faces in November. Can't wait. Can't wait. Okay. Bye. All right. Um, Deanna, do we have anybody else backstage presenting live? Or are we starting to the point where we're announcing on behalf of our industry partners? Yeah. Um, I don't know if Randall with Scribe Count has been able to join. Randall us. hasn't made it, no, to the back oh, okay. room. Uh, so he's um, built tech issues. So you've got his stuff, right? I mm -hmm. do. Um, so uh for most everybody should know uh, who who Scribe Count is and what they do. Um, they are not just a data aggregator. Um, they not only give authors the ability to look at all your sales data across all the platforms in one location, but they also have some very cool, uh, makes my little bean, bean counter heart happy. Uh, they have a lot of, of really cool um, analytic tools that you can use to, to measure different trends in your, not only... Um, how your sales are going, but return on investment and things like that. So it's a very well-rounded um, platform that mm. uh, indie authors can leverage to to their advantage to help them grow and, and get their business where they where they want it to be. Um, Randall's offering something really cool. Uh, he was offering a, a one year uh, paid subscription to Scribe Count, but they've also got. Um, setting up somebody, uh, building someone's website for them. 
Uh, the post was was uh, actually pretty intensive as far as everything that was included. Um, I wasn't smart enough actually to pull up that post and have it ready for this because I was hoping Bradley <laughs> would make it that his computer would stop smoking. Um, <laughs> but if you go back and review the post, it's it's it, it's a it's a really cool offer. It's a really cool prize. Mm -hmm. um, and so because Randall, unfortunately, is having technical difficulties this morning, he's entrusted me to to announce the winner. And I'm super happy and excited to let you all know that Melissa Gunn is the winner of the one year Scribe Count subscription mm -hmm. and the free website store build, which does include either a Shopify store or a WooCommerce store, whichever she wow. prefers. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, cool. so Melissa... Huge. Congratulations and be looking for a private message from Randall directly as to the next steps to claim your prize. Awesome. Yes. And anyone Thanks, who, if they're not familiar, those really awesome um, pie, pie charts, charts. the sunbursts that you mm -hmm. see, because a lot of times people come into the wide for the wind group and go, where are they getting, where are people getting this really cool Crack out. sunburst shirt? I would like to, so if anybody's watching, we used to see a ton of those posts in the group and I would love to see more of them again. Cause we've only been getting you like one or two a week. And I'm like, yeah. I would like to see more of those celebrations of your wide sales. So if anybody wants to post their sunburst charts, please do. Same yeah. thing for the circle group. Always yeah. fun. Always warms my heart. Always to see fun. Those sunbursts. It is. Yes, absolutely. Lots of colors. Oh, and yeah. speaking of industry partners, um, uh, Scribe Count is having their own industry space. Um, yep. They are going to be, yep, they are going, they they have a private group there or, or, or a separate group up uh, in White for the Wind. So on Circle. So you can go in there and you can talk to the geniuses behind the Sunburst. And mm -hmm. uh, yep, yep. Another fantastic company here in the white space yeah. that I just, I've been working with for years. I was uh, beta testers for them, um, the whole shebang, and yeah. cannot more highly Wisdom. recommend them. Yes. Awesome. Yes. All right, Deanna, who's up next? <laughs> up next, uh, let's talk about Barnes & Noble. Who wants Ooh. to take point on that one? All right, where's Barnes & Noble? Um, I know this is the one everybody was really, really excited about. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't want a uh, free um, e-reader, Nook e-reader? Yeah. This is one of those. It's a Nook Glowlight 4. Um, it's worth doing $200 and uh, giving it away completely for wow. free. Um, yep, absolutely. For you to use to read wonderful ebooks on. Um, and our winner for that is Dylan Crush. She's been up a couple what? of times. I hope yes, Dylan sir. is in here today. I don't know if she is or not, but big, huge congratulations to you, Dylan. Um, uh, the rep from Barnes & Noble, Julie, will be sending you a private message via Circle. Um, and that is actually true for all of the people who won today. You're going to be receiving in a message via Circle. <clears throat> so be sure to check your uh, personal messages there. You're not going to be receiving an email or Facebook messenger, anything like that. So you you need to be checking your Facebook circle messages. Uh, I mean, Facebook circle right messages. For the wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just put all the words circle. together. <laughs> I did. Rewind. And, uh, Woo. We're just, we just <laughs> pushed it all. Yes, yes. The, uh, yep. the, the circle <laughs> messages is where you need to be checked. Uh, to get the official information on how to redeem your winning your winning winning prizes stuff. Wow, I have all the good words. Um, and some of them I use <laughs> twice words. just for funsies. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that's such a funny line. <laughs> I have all the good words, and some of them I use twice. <laughs> Remember that one. <laughs> oh I'm taking, that, I'm taking that on the stand-up road. <laughs> all right, you can you do it. <laughs> uh, um and I don't mean to to just hog the spotlight, but I want to definitely do the next one, which is blurbs by Belinda, Absolutely. only because she is my blurb writer. Um, and so when I was looking at bringing in people to give away prizes in our group, um, I immediately thought of of Belinda. She is 
just fantastic. She has a book on writing your own blurbs if you would like to, to do that. Um, and then she also writes them for you. And in fact, that's part of her giveaway was that she's giving away free copies of the ebook. And then she's also giving away one prize where she takes your blurb and she helps you um, take it to the next level. Um, does a consultation with that. So um, her her website address is on the screen, belindawilliamsbooks.com. Um, I have been using Belinda for my blurbs um, for a while, and she is just uh, whip smart, and her blurbs are perfect no matter which genre you're writing in. Um, some people can really only write a, a blurb in a specific genre. She writes across a bunch uh, from fiction, nonfiction, romance, whatever it is, she writes it. So um, highly, highly recommend her just from a personal level. Um, so let me go find her uh, information. Okay, in terms of the winners of the ebook um, on writing your own blurb, that is Celia Lake, Matthew P. Schmidt, and V. Summers. Woo, woo. So you will be getting a free ebook uh, copy um, of, of her book on how to write your own blurbs. And then she will be doing a one-on-one -on -one consultation with someone to help them rewrite their blurb. Um, and I'm going to kill this name, but it is Nicole Neschwinger, huh? um, <clears throat> who won that one-on-one -on -one consultation. So congratulations to everybody. Yay, yay. All right, who's going to do book bub? Somebody else's turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So, BookBub. I mean, this was in the earliest days of indie author community. Uh, we didn't have ways to market our books. The, there was there was like, how do you get new people to discover your books? And BookBub was the first place that came on the market and really showed us the importance of that dedicated author newsletter that we recommend every author have. But it's a dedicated newsletter where people subscribe to find out about. Uh, price drops and promos in particular genres. You go into BookBub as a reader, you say, I like to read urban fantasy and historical romance. And I read on Kobo because, hey, I'm here in Canada. And then I get a daily uh, message. And this is message from either authors or publishers who have, you know, dropped their price down to 99 cents for a day or two or a week. And uh, the BookBub promo comes in. So the BookBub promo, what I don't have is I don't have access to uh, what the prize is. And uh, who who the who the winner is? I, does anyone have access to what that is? I I, I, I do. Okay. I'll do it. So um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the prize for BookBub um, was a hundred dollar credit for BookBub ads. So this is like your Facebook ads or your AMS ads or Amazon marketing ads. I don't know. Anyhow, um, your CPC or CPM style ads. Um, and the winners, let me see if I can pop over here really quick and find them on the spreadsheet. Miss Awesome Queen put together. Uh, da -da. The two winners, um, Nicole Nyschwinger, Schwinger, I hope we're getting that right, and Katie Rank Lev. So, um, yeah. Love this small community of people who are really engaged because they're, they're walking yeah. away with lots of prizes. So they are walking away with a lot of prizes, yeah. Getting in early is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, exactly. So um, we we allowed people to enter as many as they wanted. And mm -hmm. so some people won more than one. Um, I, I just love that. So um, uh, Mark, I think you've got the video for who is up next. Yeah, uh, we have. Uh, well, why spoil it? Why don't we just bring up the video from our special guest who recorded this let me find the video as I scroll through all of the awesome clips. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello. I want to start off by apologising that I can't be there live in person. Um, Friday is a public holiday in the UK, so there's a potential I might be down the pub getting a little bit worse aware, so I didn't want to make a fool of myself live on the screen. So I thought I'd pre-record this. I might be in the comment section, so hello comment section Alex from there. Um, but I just wanted to say what a fantastic opportunity it was to be part of this giveaway and long may why for the wind continue the past five years and and for future um a little bit about book vault so we're a print on demand company that print books as and when you need them um so we can uh, handle author own copies we handle distribution and the big thing for us is direct sales so we have integrations um for shopify and woocommerce 
and the big thing we're really focusing on at the moment is Kickstarter and special editions as well. So really excitingly, we're launching Sprayed Edges in July on a single copy basis, which I'm really excited for. It'll be great. Um, as for the giveaway, we've already picked the names out of a hat. So I've got the winners. And the first winner for $100 or £100 of Book Vault credit is Gia Stevens. So congratulations. And then we've got two Book Vault Pro subscriptions. So that's a year long subscription and that enables free title uploads. And the winners of those are Linda and Terralyn Mitchell. Um, so we will reach out via Circle, um, private message you of how to claim that and get back to you um, and sort that all out for you. Once again, thank you and have a good evening. That is so cool. Awesome, awesome. And and I, I, I had a little brand I had to pop up for him too. There you go. A little, yeah. Uh, your profits soar with Book Vault. Awesome. Oh, and guess what? Book Vault is another company that we have an industry partner space for in our circle community. So you can chat directly with Alex and um, I can't remember who else is the Aaron. Curtis. Aaron is the and, one, yeah. Yep. And, and Aaron. Yep. 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 So I don't know who won the there. We only give two. Um, um, I think Aaron did. It, it, that was one, yeah. So um, yeah, moderators. We each each company gets two moderators, and yep. so um, there's mm -hmm. anyway. So you and will really, be able to go and talk to them. The book vault reps are very very responsive, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and I know we keep harping on this, but uh, I I'm so excited about book vault because they are doing all the things and putting together all the things that my nerdy little book loving heart loves. Um, so there's some things coming down the pike like sprayed edges. Um, foiling on your covers, ribbon bookmarks, um, slip cases and box set cases for books. Um, I've been wanting these things for books for print on demand for over a decade since I've been doing this. I'm like, oh, does anybody know someplace that does this stuff? And the answer was always no. Well, guess what? Coming this year, it's going to be yes. Thanks to Bookfall. So I am super excited. <laughs> I'll be excited. Talk, uh, talk about Alex's dedication. So I am in the Masters of Publishing a program with uh, mm -hmm. Western Colorado University that Kevin uh, J. Anderson runs. And uh, we have our regular classes. Uh, we meet virtually most of the year, eight o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. And Alex was presenting to us live last night at two in the morning. Oh, so wow. I know he said he was going to be in the pub today, but obviously he was up really, really late presenting for a full hour dedicated, uh, you know, to, to reach the people because it's normally in the Colorado uh, time zone, which was mm -hmm. six mountain time and just uh, the dedication and again and he did mm -hmm. reveal some of the things that are coming and i almost well i was standing up i fell over i did fall over. <laughs> it was just amazing to see what uh yeah. what they're doing for the industry i'm so excited <laughs> yes it's very cool. much so yes kristen says they're crushing i can't wait for the additions they're going to be making this year yes absolutely i mean this i mean Look at all your Kickstarters, the people who are selling directs who want to do special editions. I mean, this gives us a chance to actually compete on a quality print level with TradPub. You know, we get to do the things that those big, you know, the big five publishers have been doing for their author for decades. We get to do this now. Um, so I am thrilled, <laughs> beyond thrilled. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. All right. Who is okay. up next? All right, I think we've got uh, Drop Cat Marketing next. Yeah. Uh, so this is a really exciting um, uh, industry partner uh, of ours. Uh, as a lot of people know, uh, there are a lot of readers uh, of, of books that aren't in English. And uh, translating those books can be a, a, a daunting endeavor uh, and sometimes quite expensive as well. Uh, so Drop Cat Marketing, uh, can help indie authors like us address uh, those challenges. Um, they are uh, specifically a, a literary agency with a specialty in international rights. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you sign up with Dropcat Marketing at one of their three levels of service, um, you uh, you get your books um, submitted to, uh, to publishers around the world um, and uh, potentially uh, with the uh, ability to have your books translated into other languages uh, and to be able to sell into those markets. Uh, I know Germany is one of uh, the biggest markets uh, for um, for English for translated uh, books, uh, and there are you know dozens and dozens of other languages as well. So it's a it's a company that that I was super excited to uh, to see become an industry partner uh, with mm -hmm. wide uh, with wide for the win. Um, mm -hmm. 
And unfortunately, they're not able to uh, to be here live with us, but they have two prizes that they're giving out. Uh, the first prize is a basic membership, uh, uh, which is which is worth almost $100. Uh, it's uh, having one book available for your uh, uh, for your uh, rights and for your international rights. Uh, and then we also have a premium uh, membership, which is a lot more books than that. Uh, so <laughs> the winner of the basic membership is Clodagh Murphy, uh, who is the author of For Love or Money. So congratulations, Clodagh. Uh, and the uh, premium membership uh, for a year, uh, the winner is Grace Calloway. So congratulations to Grace. And to Grace. Yay! Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Bradley. I misread the. Uh, the <laughs> I misread the uh, the the list here. I uh, I I stole your thunder. For the, oh, jeez! Cap Marketing is only offering the one basic membership, um, and uh, and it is Clodagh Murphy. So, uh, I uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't. And this is this is live. We're doing this without a net. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody would know. <laughs> you know, it's hilarious because I uh, I thought, wow, I didn't realize that they picked two winners. That is, that's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that's what I that's what I get when I've got two monitors going on at the same time. <laughs> Unless you've got right. two monitors, I'm having to flip between <laughs> yeah. screens and actually internet browsers. <laughs> Are you kidding? Two monitors. I'm on a bench in the woods on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so right, I'm right. the one who messed up. Uh, both of you have, uh, have better excuses than me. <laughs> so, so Cloda won the uh, the, the drop cap the marketing. Drop cap uh, marketing. And yeah, then we're going to talk about the other person in just a minute and what they won. But first, Bradley is going to talk about uh, what it is that they won, which is Written Word Media. And talk to us, Smalls. So uh, written word media, I'm going to do this off the cuff here, but it's a good, it's easy because I, I've used them many times and I really appreciate their services. So this will be a nice, you know, true to heart testimonial here, which is probably what they would love. Hopefully, because they're not here. So <laughs> one thing they do really well, you know, you know, a lot of the companies in this industry, you see them come and go or little guys and they, they maybe peter out. But They've been around a while, at least as far as I can remember. And what I enjoy is that they keep improving. And when you're a, a when you're a member of a service and you just see updates and you see, oh, now we have this feature. Oh, now we have that feature. You really appreciate it. And they have been, in my opinion, improving so much over recent years. And they have now sort of like, so they do promotions, by the way. It's, it's uh, promotions, uh, free booksy and bargain booksy. If I'm and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm winging this here, of course. Nope, that's but, that's right. You know, that's them. Yeah. Um, and it, one, I gotta say, one thing that they do so well is their dashboard, because mm -hmm. all of the management of this stuff, all of oh, I got it. When is my promotion again? Or yeah, with which company am I doing the promotion next week on which book? And when did I pay? Did it get accepted? what's going on and in their dashboard, it's all nice and pretty. And for a busy writer, like most of us are, that's, it's just a dream. And in fact, mm -hmm. recently they, they're adding, I think they call them stacked or something, like bundles. Stack promos, where yeah. You yeah. Can, yeah. I'm running one right now, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's so easy. And then, you know, upsell is a, a typical marketing term, but an upsell is welcome if it's useful. So on mm -hmm. a on a last stock stack promo I did, I did I can't remember free booksy and, and fussy librarian or something. And then on the upsell, you know, and if it's for products you don't want, you're like, oh annoying, upsell. But when it's something you actually want, you're actually happy to have an upsell. Mm -hmm. They had an upsell and then we're gonna do I can't remember Facebook ads for five days or something like that. I'm like, oh and I'm like, I can click this button, add the upsell, and this will be done for me. I'm like, yep, mm -hmm. thank you. So their ease of use and their powerful dashboard and the organizational management tool of this book promotion service is just fantastic. So there you go. There's my written word media off the cuff from the woods on a bench on my phone. That's it. I'm good. And I don't and I can't read who the winners are. So somebody's going to have to help me out with that one. I'll help you out uh, with that one. So 
So, uh, yeah, so we want to um, say a great big congratulations to Grace Calloway. She is the winner of a Written Word Media Premium One Year Membership. Wow. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. All right. Awesome prizes. I know, right? I so know. When did we decide that we can't be, we can't get the prizes? We yeah, why prizes? Like that? <laughs> Who heard about the appearance of impropriety? <laughs> yeah, something, something, something. I'm not hearing the words coming out of your mouth. I don't understand. No, it's true. Um, it's, it's some some behind the scenes uh, insight here. Uh, we had originally, training. right? <clears throat> we had originally planned on this just being some giveaways that us board members would do. I mean, yeah. we haven't even yeah. gotten to our our giveaways. Yeah. Yet. And, uh, and then I, I had a fever dream, I think it was, or something. And I was like, you know, we could ask other companies to give away prizes too. I bet companies would agree to do that. And so then we started bringing in all of these, uh, these other companies and their fantastic prizes. And then, then we had a board meeting and we we're like, but, but, but surely we can enter all of these kind of these, right? <laughs> Can't we? Uh, no, we cannot. Us board members did not enter, so you will not see any of us winning today. But we win because we get to be with y'all. That's that's yes. so, that. We win because five years and seventeen thousand plus members later. Um, it's been an incredible journey, and I hope it continues for a long time. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm so amazed actually by the response from our industry partners and how willing they were not only to to give prizes for this, but to purchase um, or to, to open their own spaces in our community. Mm -hmm. But just like they're as, as excited about this as we are, you know, I mean, it's been great to see that enthusiasm for our communities. Um, I think that's been one of the most, and on a short, pretty short term notice. I mean, we've been working on this for what, since mid January, I think. And, you know, January kind of trickled by and February kind of trickled by. And suddenly here we are in March scrambling <laughs> to make sure we get all this put together. Um, and it's it's a massive, massive thank you to our industry partners for being so willing yeah. to work with us and to provide these prizes and to um, share their companies with our members. Absolutely. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mark. Mark. Uh, uh, you guys may remember there was a last minute drop in prize from draft to digital. Uh, Dan Wood uh, had, uh, right? had that award. Yeah. So, um, but we didn't have a chance for people to comment in, in the circle mm. group. So it's a special surprise for people <laughs> who are here watching live. Whoa. If you use draft to digital print, we're giving away five. Uh, change records because it does cost uh, you get one a, one a quarter if you want to update your print book it costs twenty five dollars if you want to change it more than once a quarter because draft to digital is already footing the bill for everyone once a year because it does cost that money with the printer but mm -hmm. we will apply a print credit to the book of your choice if you're a D2D print member all you have to do is comment D to D print in the comments and uh, when we finish this randomly pick five of uh, people who will get that credit Yay. the other thing is a one hour consult with Megan Spann, who's the author of promotions coordinator at draft to digital as well as myself. We'll spend an hour with you looking at your stuff, advising you on various things <laughs> to do. And it doesn't have to be just about draft to digital, but then you'll also get, we will coordinate a custom carousel that's featured on the dashboards page for a full week. And it will include a landing page that will be custom. And we'll come up with that together with you. Maybe it's with friends who have similar books or comp titles. Mm -hmm. You want to involve them in that. So just say I'm interested in D 2 D marketing in the comments. And again, we will randomly select that prize uh, at, at the end and you'll be contacted directly. So uh, there, there, there's that extra bonus for people watching live. Yeah. So number one for the print change credit, D 2 D print comment. And for the one hour consultation, D 2 D marketing. Yeah. And who, who's, who's going to be in charge of tracking all these? Uh, when we finish, when we finish the broadcast, I will go into the comments. I will grab all the names, uh, put them in a random number generator, and I'll I'll just message everyone. One, one, one quick note: I was just checking the chat, and if I, I don't know, how, I'm sure you know how to do this, Mark. But there are some Facebook users who are called Facebook user. Yeah, when I yeah. go to Facebook, I'll be able to see their name. It's because they oh, okay. air permissions with StreamYard. That's all. Well, don't worry. We know who you are. We'll know who you are when oh, we are okay. Facebook. I was going to say, if, if you're you Facebook user, Facebook. put your name in there. <laughs> so, cool. All right. Um, um, I'm going to you a question on this chat or comments. 
Um, or does it? Uh, but I thought it's the same thing. Comments, chat, whatever. You leave it in the comments on YouTube or the chat. It it will we'll find it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find it. I love that. We'll find it. Uh, Great question, Elaine. Okay, so we are up next. Um, I am going to be doing the winners of Lulu. So we um, have already talked about Book Vault. Uh, Book Vault does um, mm. uh, these special editions and such. Well, guess what? We are bringing in the other uh, company out there that also does special editions. It mm -hmm. is Lulu. Um, and they are also getting their own uh, industry space inside yeah. of Circle. So when you have any questions about uh, the services and what you want uh, to see if they can if they can do something for you, Lulu is where it's at. They are going to be in um, in circle in their own subgroup, their own industry space. I'm super excited about that. Um, Lulu has been around for a very long time um, and they are, I have heard so many compliments about Lulu, um, the, the thickness of the paper, the quality, they are really, they do such a fantastic job of um, doing print on demand well. Um, yeah. And they they integrate if you wanting if you're wanting to do drop shipping where you are selling using either Shopify or WooCommerce, they do white label drop shipping. So they are going to print it and they are going to mail it out to your readers, and the reader has sees it as coming from you. Mm -hmm. rather than coming from Lulu. So, and uh, you though, don't have to do a darn thing. It just fulfills and gets sent out. And um, mm -hmm. other than, you know, building the store and driving traffic there, you don't have to actually fulfill any of it. And so you get to just make the money, which is exciting. So today, Lulu um, is giving away a couple of different, uh, excuse me, Give me just a moment here. I'll bring this up. But they are, they have chosen to give away two prizes. Um, it is for the same thing. It is called an e-commerce booster package. Um, and, and that includes um, helping you set up your e-commerce store, whether you're using Shopify um, or WooCommerce, loading your files to Lulu, connecting your projects to your store, a wholesale discount on your account for six months, and five free copies of your book so that you Ooh. can then use to give them away to to readers so super fantastic um and the winners are uh gloria loya and stefan lear so yay lulu will be in touch with you too um congratulations and um I just, I'm so excited that Lulu decided to join and have their own industry space with us. Um, mm -hmm. I I have been working with them for a while and they are just really wonderful. Yeah. And there's some of the things that they can do is really, really cool. So. And their customer service founder, is really good. Their founder Excellent. from Hamilton, Ontario, Canadian. <laughs> Yay! Owner of the <laughs> Hamilton Tie Cats. Yeah, there you go. You didn't know that. They are based in the mm -hmm. U.S., but the founder is... Definitely. Canadian, awesome. Yeah, no, I've used Lulu too. Um, in fact, I actually used them for my hardcovers way back when, when nobody else was doing print on demand hardcovers, and they were gorgeous, and people loved them. And yeah, it was yeah. great. Um, Absolutely. Yes. Uh, all right. So, Mark, would you mind um, announcing our next winner from the Writer MBA? Sure. I, I mean, I can talk about writer mba so uh actually one of the founders of of the uh wide for the wind group of the of the company that we formed monica leon mm -hmm. who is partnered with russell uh, uh, nolte and uh recently just held the very first annual conference but writer mba is a website dedicated to resources and again monica does some great books and mm -hmm. resources and and coaching on wide publishing and and being successful everywhere. So Writer MBA is a platform online. You can go to writermba.com uh, to check it out. And they have um, yeah, and and they just did the uh, the mastermind in in New Orleans, and there are already tickets available for next year. So a great gathering of wonderful people. And uh, I, what is the prize for Writer MBA? That's um, that is uh, an excellent question. Go ahead, Anna. Is, 
Uh, Rider MBA is giving away a, a free mini course on making special offers regarding your direct sales. Oh, and that's one of the things they do really well is like the mm -hmm. Kickstarters and the special editions and the special offers. So that and obviously selling direct uh, really great. So that's uh, and and the win where is the winner? Where where did, did somebody have the winner that was drawn? Karen DeHaven. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Hey, congratulations, Karen. Yeah. Hey, congratulations, Karen. Woo woo. And then the other thing too is um, if you're more like me and you prefer books, um, Monica and Russell have a huge library of wide focused books. Um, they even have books on specific retailers. Like they have a book for just Barnes and Noble and just Apple. They have yeah. one just on Kickstarter. In fact, it's um, somewhere back on my shelf. It's back on my shelf, but I have it. Um, so go check out their library as well. Uh, Plus, like everybody said, they have a lot of courses as well, too. So um, lots of great information. Those two are amazing at compiling information. Like I am, so, <laughs> I wish I had their gifts for compiling information. I do not. Um, so I'm just going to go buy their books because, yeah, they do it so well. Absolutely. All right. All right. So I think that we are on to us board members. What we had originally planned, mm. the first hour and a half of this wouldn't have happened if we <laughs> stuck with our original plan. So, yeah. Um, and this was right. only going to take an hour, anyways, right? This whole yeah, thing. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Just like just like our weekly calls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> weekly one-hour, three-hour calls that we do. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think we're going to just go in order here. Miss Deanna, I think you are up first. Yeah. Is Deanna muted? She doesn't look muted. Sorry. I was trying to, I was, I wanted to like sort the rest of this, like by our names, you know, so we're not oh, hopping around back and forth and it's ah. not cooperating. So I guess I'm going first. <laughs> So yeah, my name is Deanna Hart. I go by uh, DF Hart when I'm writing my crime thrillers, but I have an MBA with accounting concentration. And I'm also the treasurer, also known as the ca cool cash chick for Wide for the Win LLC. <laughs> um, absolutely delighted to be a part of this organization. Even more thrilled to help celebrate the fifth anniversary of Wide for the Win coming into being. Uh, let's, let's here's hoping for many, many more years uh, as we can all so we can all journey down this road together as indie authors and as a solid and thriving community. So I was like, at first, when the the idea of this giveaway came around, I was like, well, I have family member cruncher, people aren't going to give a damn about what prizes I'm <laughs> what prizes I'm giving away. <laughs> but uh, the more I thought about it. Um, uh, we do have a, a nonfiction book out there that was written specifically to help uh, authors uh, learn at least a few accounting basics to kind of help underpin their business and make them as successful as possible. I co-wrote this with the lovely and talented Mark Leslie Lefebvre. <laughs> Yay! Beautiful. Yay! <laughs> look, look, look what we did. <laughs> and uh, this book, actually, we just had our second year anniversary of the publication of this book. So, milestones. Oh my God, we're celebrating two anniversaries. Has, has, hashtag milestones. Um, and so I went out, I can't even remember what thread it is right now, but I went out and basically. Uh, talked about a couple of, of, of concepts that are really applicable, super applicable to the, the, the author world. And then said, Hey, if you want, um, we're giving away five ebook copies of accounting for authors and we're giving away four signed paperback copies of accounting for authors. And so I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, I don't know if I've been like on screen through this whole thing, but I was like surreptitiously dropping pieces of paper in a big thing and shaking it up and print, you know, <laughs> and so I've actually already drawn the winners. Uh, so yeah, the, the five ebook winners, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time. If I mess up any of these names, just bear with me. Um, so the first winner for, of the ebook copy of Accounting for Authors is Micah Kennedy. And mm. the second ebook winner is Kim, I believe it's pronounced D D D I. It's D D D D E. Yeah. Good yep. on yep. me. Okay. <laughs> uh, the third ebook winner is Laura Spears. 
The fourth mm -hmm. ebook winner is Thea Atkinson. And mm -hmm. the last ebook winner is Kenneth Brown. Mm -hmm. And then we also said we were going to give away four signed paperback copies. Um, unfortunately, due to postage uh, being super pricey, uh, postage constraints, that we were going to limit this, this to four and also limit the paperback copies to U.S. and Canadian authors only. And I apologize ahead of time for that. Um, but having said that, our four paperback uh, winners are Victoria L.K. Williams. She's a U.S. author. Um, I'm going to butcher this name. I know it. Uh, Elodie Noah Desky. Uh, N-O-W-O-D-E-Z-K-I-G. I'm sorry if I butchered you know, your you name. You know who you are, though, right? You know who you are, and we'll be PMing you also. <laughs> uh, she's also a, a U.S. author. Uh, the third paper book winner is Debbie Maxwell Allen. And last but not least, we have Kristen Artis, who is the fourth paperback winner. Yay! Hey, congrats. Yay! Oh, yay! Okay, so... <laughs> you just went full-time. <laughs> yay! Okay. So the other thing that I am personally on the hot seat for, uh, as far as giveaways go, and I'll just, I'll orient myself properly on the next line, um, to make sure I don't lose my place. So, like I said, I'm a crime thriller writer. I also have an MBA with accounting background. I've been doing accounting work for 27, 28 years now. And one of the things that I found when I got into this industry is that, um, there's a lot of really basic business concepts that would truly, truly benefit the indie author community. Hence why we, we, Mark and I co-wrote the book Accounting for Authors. But I wanted to take it a step further. And so in April of last year, I actually launched Two of Hearts Business Services. And as the tagline uh, that you can see on the screen indicates, we speak indie author. Um, we, uh, I'm going to bear with me just a second. I'm going to try to multitask. Everybody knows how well that goes. Um and put my actual uh, link in the comments where people can uh, flash that up on the screen. Um, so I basically I opened a business and uh, with a focus on indie, helping indie authors get the most out of their business that they possibly can. Um, we will not file taxes for you. That's a slippery slope and I'm not a CPA and I don't want to be one. I have no desire to be one. But I can help you with tracking your sales and expenses. I can help you with marketing spend analysis. I can help you with calculating um, cost per click, cost per sale, return on investment, figure out what your break even point is, help you by looking at your historical data, determine, okay, is it time for me to launch over into audiobooks or should I hold off a little bit? Pretty much I can help you get from a big bucket of mess of messy paper receipts over into a streamlined, beautiful financial reporting that you can then take to your CPA and make their day because they don't have to wade through all the paper. Right. So, um, the, so the other thing that was really on my heart to do for this, this anniversary celebration was I initially, in my initial post, I said I would give away two one hour consultations to, um, try to help, some of my fellow authors get a better handle and get a better understanding of the concepts and also how to apply some of the concepts. I was so overwhelmed by the pleasantly overwhelmed by the number of responses. I'm actually going to give away three one hour consultations. Um, wow. And so, yeah. That's <laughs> and so I, uh, I'm very, very uh, pleased to announce that Evie Alexander you get to spend an hour with me. Sherry Queen, you and I get to hang out for an hour. And KJ Wawara, you and I get to hang out together as well. So I will be sending PMs to each one of you guys. And I appreciate the, the feedback and the interest. Had some really good comments and back and forth. Fostered a lot of discussion in the prize post as well. So looking forward to chatting with you guys. Yay. Awesome. The lovely and talented, talented Paul Austin Ardoin is next on our list. All right. Well, I am going to give away, uh, last year, uh, I published a, uh, an indie, indie author guide. Um, and 
uh, in 2018, I started my author journey of uh, self-publishing fiction. And it took me a while to build my readership and it took me a while to uh, get to a point where I could start doing things like uh, Facebook advertising and, and things like that. And I noticed that there were a lot of, uh, of author marketing guides out there, but a lot of them were focused on the whole process. And a lot of, uh, a lot of them were a little too much for beginners out there. So uh, I published a, uh, an indie author guide called From Zero to Four Figures. Uh, and it's specifically when you're not making $1,000 a month yet, how to get to that four figures. Because that four figures uh, that, that you have is really you know, part of the ways you can get to those other uh, marketing areas. Uh, I talk about uh, how to market on a budget. And I also talk about uh, how what your books need to do, what they need to, uh, how they need to meet reader expectations in order for you to build the sol solid foundation for your author. So, uh, so with that, uh, that publication last year, um, I, I've hopefully um, uh, helped a few authors out there uh, get to a, a thousand dollars a month, and uh, I'm giving away. Uh, I had said uh, five ebook audiobook bundles and five print copies to uh, to U.S. residents uh, because of shipping costs. Uh, but the people who uh, who entered, some of them said, "I only want an ebook. I only want audio. That kind of thing." So I was actually able to uh, to to give the uh, the books away to quite a few more people than I had originally intended. So uh, I'm not going to say who gets an ebook and who gets an audio book on this, but the winners uh, for the Hang on, before you get the winners, I have to say this is absolutely a phenomenal book, and you guys are so lucky uh, that you got access to this. So sorry, Paul. Oh well, it, anytime you want to interrupt me and and praise uh, something <laughs> I've done, uh, feel feel free. <laughs> All right. So the winners of the of either the ebook or the audio book or or both, depending on what they asked for, are. Marty C. Lee, Peter Noah Thomas, Rhonda Hopkins, Rebecca Enzor. I'm totally going to butcher this name. Kenneth Brown. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, <laughs> Tasha Lewis, uh, Glenna Majin or Majin, Thea Atkinson, Tom Fowler. And finally, Donna Amis Davis or Amos Davis. Uh, and then for the uh, the signed copy that you will get uh, via the U.S. Postal Service, uh, Diana uh, Winget, Kristen Artis, Shannon Schrader, Nicole Zoltek, and Micah Kennedy. And then um, also, uh, one of the reasons why I, I, I wrote this book in the first place uh, was because I had gotten invited to a couple of, uh, of sessions, first through NaNoWriMo uh, local groups, to talk about my experience, my experience marketing books. And I wound up uh, getting invited to a Sisters in Crime meeting in Austin and one in South Carolina uh, and a couple uh, other uh, events uh, around the country. Um, and uh, it, it turns out that, uh, that, that not only is this a book, but I, I, I turned out giving a, a consultation that was based on those presentations as well. So I'm also giving away a 30 minute consultation uh, for an author who is, is not yet making $1,000 a month to get them started on their author journey. Uh, and the winner of, uh, of uh, well, okay. And so first of all, I, Put the names in a cup here. This is the Nowhere Bookshop uh, in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it's an independent bookshop uh, owned by uh, the Blogess, if any of you know her, uh, and uh, Beyonce, the giant metal chicken. Um, she is fantastic and funny and has published some books that uh, had the person next to me on the airplane thinking that I was going into cardiac arrest because I was laughing so hard. Uh, anyway, uh, and the slips of paper are written on the torn up pieces of my uh, NCAA basketball bracket, which got completely busted yesterday. <laughs> uh, all right. And so the winner is, go Marquette though, because my kids go there. Um, the winner is Victoria L.K. Williams. Congratulations, Victoria. 
uh, and I'll be DMing you on Circle and we'll set up a, a time for that consultation. Nice. Yay. Awesome. Um, hey, Bradley, would you like to yeah. go next? Sure. Great. Um, my bracket was busted yesterday as well. Hey there, I'm, uh, I'm Bradley Charbonneau, nonfiction author, and great to be here, visiting here from the woods in the Netherlands, where I live. And I, in, for, for today, I want to talk about audiobooks and all things audio. We could also even do video, but it's basically going beyond the book. And that's, you know, I see why this is even like wider than wide wider than, ju than just a book and the words on paper, but taking these words and making audio, video, and then even snippeting those out, putting them on YouTube, on a podcast, onto different forms of audio. So I've done uh, voiceover, I've done uh, stand-up comedy, improv comedy. In fact, I just, I just won last week the national public speaking competition in the Netherlands and I went to the European, yay. Off, uh, which qualified me for the European Championships in May in Belgium. So I love public speaking. I love speaking. I love um, stand up and improv and recording audiobooks. So on that note, I would love to help you with your audiobooks. And if you don't have audiobooks, we can talk about creating audiobooks. If you're a fiction author, nonfiction author, how to best go about it, everything from production to distribution to, but where I really have fun is the marketing, is the is the how to get that audio out there and to use it in different ways. So to be able to chop it up and take little snippets, have little audio files and really share those in, in unique and different ways. And that's what I think is a lot of fun. I'm a big believer in audio and that it reaches the readers in a different way because it physically does, physically and psychologically does. It comes in through the ears instead of the eyes and we under, we, take it in differently. So clearly a big fan of audio and video and stage. And on that note, I, my original offer was going to be audiobook uh, consulting or coaching. But and if I'm any, any of those is why I mentioned them. If you have any interest in the, the two winners that have been chosen, if you have any interest in beyond even just audio, happy to talk about that. And, it, and if you're thinking that yourself, needs to be like if you're a fiction author fiction authors don't typically record their own audio but if you have your own audio then what we can do with that and what we can play with it so on on that note without further ado and i'm going to need some help from the team here to read out the winners because i can't see them so could i get some help <laughs> deanna did you have it in front of did you have it in front of you as well my two winners um i do um so Thanks, you're you betcha. So our two winners are Elaine Cannon and Amanda Lynn Petrin. Yay! Yay! And listening to everything that you have to share, honestly, Bradley, I feel like um, I I want to do a consultation with you too. <laughs> I have to hit you, know, you I've had that feeling. That I've had that feeling so much this, this evening. You know, it's like, oh, that's a great prize. Oh, I want that. Oh, I want to do that. <laughs> Right. It's, it's, cool. it's so cool. And it's such a great group. I recently listened to one of Bradley's audiobooks that he narrated himself, uh, Procrastinate, which is a very cheeky, wonderful, just a really <laughs> enjoyable read and listen. So, yeah, I love when you were talking about it. was like I was having a conversation with you. It was just, it was really fun. Awesome. Great. Cool. Thank you All so right. much. Yes. Um, so That's it. That's me. Who's next? I think Susie is next. Uh, except for she's muted. Uh, nobody can hear what you're saying. <laughs> I, you know what was funny is I was just thinking, I'm like, okay, I'm muted. I'm not going to forget to hit the microphone again. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> I, we all have to take a turn, I guess. So um, I actually wanted to go next because I have not been feeling real great. Um, Post-COVID brain fog from last year is finally clearing out. I was originally planning to offer an author branding consultation. Um, but I was like, I am not feeling real great. So I don't know if I have the brain power and I'm actually feeling better. So now I want to do it. So basically what I will do in this in a 30 minute consultation, which will probably run over, they always do. Um, I will go through your author website, your catalog of book covers, and I will help you um, basically figure out what your branding should be 
or if you're on target or, you know, whatever you want to talk about, about your branding. I know a lot of authors struggle with what even is author branding. Um, a lot of people think it's just, you know, the colors on your website or your book cover trends. And it's way, way more than that. That's just the visual representation of your author brand. Your author brand is the kind of stories that you write. And it's essentially, it's you. Um, so what I want to do is help you guys figure out how to figure out how to present that author brand um, in the form of a 30 minute consultation. So what I'm going to have you guys do, if you are interested in entering for that, um, post in the comment, something like author branding consult. Um, and then we'll pick randomly just like and we did. This work out so well for someone like Danielle, who said, I guess I, oh, need I, to get in the group yeah. I hadn't even heard of circle and missed all of this. So yeah. Danielle, here's your chance. If you're still watching. Yes. <laughs> if you're interested in, if you're interested in entering the drawing for an author branding consultation, um, pop a comment in there. I, yeah, just say, I want to author brand. <laughs> How do I do this? Um, and so the other one I actually have, um, which I had posted in the circle community is for a free, Custom cover design, which I usually charge $299 for those, $299. Um, the only caveat I had was please no existing series designed by another branding. That's um it's it's a thing in the designer. They own designers own your copyright unless they explicitly state it's work for hire, which I don't think I know any author cover designers who do that. Um so yeah, but everybody who commented said it was all for either a new series or something they designed themselves. Um, I've actually been sitting here. I have all the names in a cup and I already drew one because I was sitting here doing nothing. So um, if anybody's curious about my author cover design, not author, why do I keep saying author cover design business? Um, it's Sunset Rose Books. You can find it at sunsetrosebooks.com. Um, I design my, uh, my covers, which I know I always tell authors don't design your own covers because you're too close to your own books, but I'm a total Photoshop addict and I've always been in love with book covers. So I've spent probably most of my life studying book cover trends. Um, so I like to help people. And part of the reason why I became an indie author was to actually have control over my book covers. Um, mine is the one on the far right there, Kate Aneth. That's my new fantasy uh, pen. And you might notice another couple of names up here. Um, <laughs> for, this, for this graphic, I wanted to specifically use covers I've designed for fellow widelings. Um, so yeah, so Aaron's on there, Rhiannon Futch is on there, um, and Rob Kearns, who's a good friend of many of us. Um, mm -hmm he's on there and so without further ado winner winner chicken dinner uh william brinkman you get a free cover um, i will message you privately in the circle community chat or so uh circle community i can't talk right now jeez louise um i'll be messaging you here after the live stream is done so Yay. Yes. Um, Yay. Every single cover that I have has been done by Susie. Ah. She, she just finished redoing my, my uh, firefighter series. Yes. So, yeah. so I yes. had to pop that one up there too, because I'm like, Oh, it's the new shiny. It's the new one. <laughs> yes. Um, but having said that, she obviously does a wide variety of yes. genres. She does not just do romance. Um, she yeah. does like every genre under the sun mm -hmm. and she is amazing. Aww. Yes. She has, <laughs> she has more, uh, a graphic talent in her little pinky than I do in my whole body. So, so yay. It's um, that Photoshop addiction. I tell you, it comes in handy sometimes. It does. Um, okay, so I think Paul is up next. Um, mm -hmm. Take it away, Paul. All right. Well, uh, so one of the things that we uh, decided to offer as a group, um, you know, you, you may remember from uh, from high school world history classes or, or something like that, the idea of an agora, uh, which is the which was the the essence of the communication of the city state, where everybody who uh, who wanted anything, who requested anything, uh, would uh, would go to the Agora, talk to the leaders of the community, and they would request uh, help uh, that they needed. They would request uh, uh, communication with the uh, with the powers that that be and and that sort of thing. So, what we are offering uh, as a a board member group is exactly like the Agora only it's completely different what we are offering is the uh is is the ability to talk with the group for anything that you would like to talk about whether it is covers or audiobooks or um or accounting or getting started getting your author business off the ground or how to uh to go wide successfully 
uh, that kind of thing. Uh, uh, almost nothing from an author business perspective is is out of bounds. Uh, and you get us for, uh, I believe we set an hour uh, for that. So without further ado uh, on, on, uh, on this, uh, Let's see. Uh, let's uh, let's see who the winner uh, the winner is. Is all right. The winner is Amy Robinson. Yay! Yay. I did chat with you. All right, and you'll uh, be getting a direct message uh, from uh, the Circle team for this to to set this up. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the, yeah, the the one hour agora slash nothing like an agora uh consultation with the uh with everyone you see here and and even people you don't see here yet <laughs> oh no you still <laughs> aaron's hiding <laughs> all right uh mark uh uh go i think uh i think we'll uh you're next on the list just saying hi to amy who says eek that's me <laughs> yeah uh, so uh, next on the list, just so we can try and keep this uh, within the two-hour range, is I've got some giveaways here. I did the pre-draw already. And uh, so what it was was for the Wide for the Win uh, ebook, uh, Wide for the Win print. Um, ebook had uh, five winners. Print had uh, uh, two winners and uh, two winners for uh, a consult uh, with me. And so without further ado, uh, the winners of the ebook are Liz Alden. Rebecca Manson, Annabelle McCormick, Clodagh Murray, and Aisha. Aisha. Uh, I didn't get a last name there, but I will message all of you uh, with the link to, probably for Book Funnel to download uh, for the Win ebook. And the print book, uh, and I'll find out if you want a signed copy or not, it's going to go to Laura Spears and Annalise Hotzinger. Uh, so, congratulations. You guys are getting the print book for Wide for the Win. And the people who won the one-hour uh, consult uh, with me, virtual, are Pamela Cummings and Rhonda. Okay, so congratulations, guys. Yay! So exciting. All right. So I guess that brings us to me. I think I'm the last one to go. Um, so we, uh, I give away some, um, classes. So I've been teaching classes for a while now. Um, one, one class at a time. Um, so I think I actually started a year ago, <laughs> which tells you, like, I just, I teach a class and then we move on to the next class and someday I will, I'll have shared everything that I know. Um, and it'll be great. So I am, uh, giving away a foundations class. Um, um, and then an intermediate part two class, which is just basically all about um, promoting uh, permafreeze and such like that. Um, and then a radish class. So let me get over and um, bring that stuff up and I can uh, tell you. Okay, so for the foundations course, um, I am going to scroll over. Oh, whoops. That's right. I didn't put it in there. I put it in something else. Ha ha. Um, give me just a second, you guys. I, I forgot that I moved um, where I put that at. Okay. So for the foundations course, it is going to be Mandy Orem. Uh, for the radish course, um, I picked that one based on uh, who I felt had the best chance of doing really well on radish. Um, and I, I couldn't pick. So I went ahead and chose two people. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, one is Willow Byrne and the other is Nicole Zoltek. Um, and then I also taught a book club. So I went ahead and chose two people. Whoop. Oh. That was weird. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Yeah, that was random. Okay. Anyway, um, so I also taught a class on book club feature deals. So if you've been struggling to get one or you're not, you you got one, but you don't really how to know how to maximize it. I taught a whole class on book club feature deals, and the winner of that was Donna Amis Davis. Woo, woo. And then the intermediate part two class um, that is all about advertising your permafree and newsletter magnets and things like that was MQ Barber. So 
Um, uh, if you did not win, but you would like to get one of these classes, they are all available in Circle. There is a courses section in the left-hand bar, um, and there are uh, classes in there by me, and we are starting to add classes by other people. Um, so you can go ahead and buy the class and take it right inside of Circle. Um, and so you don't have to worry about finding it later on because it's still all going to be right there. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I will be reaching out to those winners here. And then last, but certainly not least, um, is I have uh, two consultations that I'm giving away. Um, and I've, I've been doing one-on-one -on -one consultations since I looked it up the other day, December 2020. Wow. 2020 I know right it's been a while um and and I I've done just about uh 500 individual offers at this point so that is not counting you know all the authors who I've done follow-ups with and such and so um I can't say that I have seen absolutely every situation that could possibly be happening but I think I've seen most um at that <laughs> at this point um uh and so I that I think that breadth of and width of knowledge beyond just what I know about my own career, but having talked to so many different people really makes it so that I can help other people. It's really fascinating to me how many times I will be talking to one author and then, you know, two weeks later, I'm talking to somebody else. And it's like, oh, you know, I was actually just talking to an author about this. Blah, 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 blah. And so I just constantly um, able to help connect people with the information that they need, I feel like is, is kind of my specialty. Um, so I chose two winners for free consultations with me. Um, one is a follow-up client who I've talked to with before, and one is a new client. Um, and let me get back to that. So the new client is going to be Nicole Nashwinger, and the follow-up is going to be Shannon Schroeder. So, woo woo! I'm gonna be seeing your smiling faces in my Zoom pretty soon. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about that. Um, all right, you guys, I think we made it through two hours Ooh. later. <laughs> we, did. we did. Only took wait. us two hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, there's um, more. Wait, oh, but yeah, the wait. And more. Um, draft a digital, the drawing. Did you have a chance to do that? Or are we going to announce that later? I snuck it in. I didn't get a chance. But as as this ends, I will go in. I won't announce it for the video. I'll go in, do the okay. random number, and then I will message the people directly. So thanks, um, thanks for your okay. comments, guys. Because, yeah, I actually drew my two. I'm going to do two. I decided I changed my mind. I'll do two consultations. Um, and I just went on random.org and drew random numbers that way. And so uh, my two winners are Daniel Peterson and, oh, hold on, D.S. Lang, which I'm wondering, is that Debbie Lang by chance? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Cool. So so <laughs> Debbie Lang and Daniel Peterson, you guys, I will be in touch somehow. I will find you. <laughs> or if you want, um, if I can't find you for some way, because I can find you. YouTube or covers at sunsetrosebooks.com in case I, you don't hear from me in like the next 12 hours. Um, so yay. yay. This was All a blast. Right. And see, we had a bunch of fun games planned too, but um, we definitely did not need them. <laughs> no, I think we that would we would have gone for like six hours if we oh, had yeah, totally. hours. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you guys. You. Uh, happy anniversary. Happy fifth anniversary. Yeah. yeah. Happy oh. birthday, wide for the win. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Happy wow. birthday wide for the win. Thank you guys for hanging in there and watching us uh, for the two hours. And uh, hello to everyone in the future who's watching the recording later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take Thanks care, for... guys. Great. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join the Facebook group over at facebook.com slash groups slash wide for the win. Or subscribe to us so you don't miss these live videos, these wide streams over at youtube.com slash wide for the wind.